Hey, good morning everybody and happy new year. It is January 1st, first day of 2021, first official hunt of this year. So we are hunting for the new G.I. Joe classified Cobra Vipers and also Firefly. So they are, uh, the street date is lifted today for those figures. So hopefully we can find some. Let's go check it out. Stay tuned. Alright, let's hope these figures are on the shelves or pegs. I highly doubt it, but you never know. Alright. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Alright, let's see. I haven't been to this target in a while, so if they were here, they would be. Oh, they have the Green Ranger. And a white ranger which i don't need it would be nice to have that head sculpt with the bandana or the headband whatever you want to call it oh oh man that got me excited well i do have some joes it's my first time seeing the cobra commander in the wild and we saw this a while back only one other time which we picked up then no vipers why am I not surprised <laughs> let's see that's good to see though I do have the regal variant from Hasbro coming in later With all the usual peg warmers oh. That's what the Star Wars Black Series. You know, just Luke and Yoda. Alright, looks like I'll have to ask an employee. Alright, we're at our second Target location. They opened up like 40 minutes ago, so we might be too late. Let's go check it out. I'm not seeing any Joes, I'm not seeing any Marvel Legends, I'm seeing any Black Series. <laughs> Let's check the next aisle. They do got some Marvel Legends, okay. A whole bunch of Storms, Gwen Stacy back there, Jacosta. And no Joes. Alright, let's ask an employee. You got some Power Rangers. Man, this place doesn't have barely anything. Alright. Alright, so unfortunately, we did not strike early enough. And they sold out. So they said 20 people were waiting. And they sold one figure each. So each customer only got like one Firefly or one... Um, a viper. They didn't get one of each. They they only had the option to pick one figure. So it is what it is. They're very popular. So looks like I'll have to wait until they show up all around my area. But as with the NECA section here, they don't have much at all. Nothing new. If y'all saw the other video, the last toy hunt video, or actually two toy hunt videos, I did get the Mayfix version of this, of Chucky figure. But I gotta say, this NECA version is excellent. And it's 12 scale, so that's nice. I still may pick that one up one day. Alright, that's really unfortunate. I should have came early, but it is what it is. I'll have another chance. Oh, snaps, they got Ted. Whoa! What, what did y'all think about the uh, the most recent movie, from Bill and Ted? Face the music. I, I freaking loved it. 
It was much better than I expected. So freaking good. Station! 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 Love all the new characters that were in there. Of course, all the new ones. Oh, old ones. I do want a Bill and Ted figure. But this, yeah, they don't look good enough. I want something with more quality. All right, yeah, let's get out of here. All right, it is Sunday, January 3rd. It's actually my birthday, so yay, happy birthday to me. Um, I am heading towards a Target right now. I feel like buying something. Um, hopefully we can find some of the new uh, Beast Wars figures. Um, they're starting to hit a whole bunch of stores, so hopefully they'll be here. That'll be very nice. Let's go check it out. No way. They got some new Black Series. Got Grief Karga and Quill. Ah, oh, that's awesome. They are missing uh Who am I thinking of? Oh yeah. Moff Moff Gideon. Of course he's missing. Unless he's back here. Nope. Okay, nevertheless, that's really nice to see these two. Oh, what is on his face? See that black smudge on the side? Right there. Oh, maybe that's why no one picked them up. Cool, actually looks really good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up. Would have been nice to pick up Grief Cargo, but yeah, that mark. I don't know, maybe that'll come off pretty easily. I'll think about it, but man, these figures look really nice. Very nice. Alright, let's go check the other side. Alright, any new Transformers? I don't see any over there. Oh, they do got Kang. Finally seeing him. We got Thunderstrike here. Costa, Mark One, Maverick. Man, I do want a Kang. Shikla. But I'm not really. I don't need them ASAP. Yeah, him and Falcon are probably the only ones I'm going to get from this wave. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to pick them up right now, though. Uh, they don't have any new Transformers or particularly the Beast Wars figures. That's unfortunate. I have a whole bunch of Halo figures, of course. Oh man, that figure looks pretty, pretty bad. Alright. Still have a whole bunch of Batman Who Laughs. Really want some more uh, Robin Crows, but man, I haven't seen those in forever. Surprised these are not on clearance, these Ghostbusters. Yeah, Alright, yep, let's get out of here. Alright, what are these? Ghostface Knit Series. Okay. Coming out with all kinds of new stuff. Oh, it's like a mystery box thingamajig. Never gonna get any of those after that Mortal Kombat one that we got a while back. <laughs> Even though we got for like five dollars, it just wasn't worth it. Michael Myers limited edition bobblehead. That's a pretty tall one. Is that Hannibal Lecter? Oh, it is. 
These are like knitted vinyl dolls. That's a mystery style. Hmm. These are extremely small. Yes, amigos. Hannibal Lecter. Looks kind of goofy. <laughs> but then again, most Migos look goofy to me. It's just my opinion, though. Candyman. We've got Jeepers Creepers. That one doesn't look too bad. <laughs> what are these called? Tubs. It's like a Pennywise mixed with a duck. Interesting. Alright, let's go check to see if they have any new NECA. Oh, this. The new Flash Pop. Oh, I don't know why this football is here. It's Logan. IG-11 back there, Got Mandos, several Mandos. Oh, they got some Ninja Turtle related stuff. Oh, this is from Q-Fig. Leonardo, Donatello, just those two, okay. And these are 20 bucks. As with the NECA stuff, Hellraiser, Gremlin, Evil Dead, Aliens, Jungle Hunter, Halloween. Man, these are not selling. It's been here forever. 100 bucks. I'd pick it up if it was maybe like less than 50. Let's go see what's on the other side here. Pennywise, we got lightning, trick or treat. Oh, Batman robe. Cavity Sam. <laughs> Die Hard. <laughs> got Dumbledore. We got some the child fig pins. Alright, please have some new stuff. Wow, they don't have any DC Multiverse stuff anymore. Oh, some Legends are on sale. For 11 bucks, Deadpool Wave. Oh, this is 11 bucks, I believe. I already have these. The Warthog is on sale, seventeen fifteen. Nice. That's a great set. A whole bunch of Ghostbusters, of course. A couple Goldars. No new Black Series, of course. Transformers. Doggo, is this new? I think it is. P1000. Alright, I think that does it. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. Oh, are these now? Oh, they got some Kingdom Transformers. Tell me they have Cheetor. Oh, they got Black Arachnia at least. Oh, man, I'm so glad they made these. Vertebrax. 
Got Optimus back there. Man, these are tiny. I see these characters here. So, so this is gonna be a trilogy. Well, I guess the first one already came out. Mm. Yeah, the first season was enjoyable. Um, I wouldn't give it a 10 or anything like that, but... <laughs> Let's see this character. Paleotrex. So he turns into a fossil, basically. Of a T-Rex or a raptor. It looks like a T-Rex. Maybe an Allosaurus. Uh, these are 20 bucks. I may actually get this one in the future. I'll definitely pick up Black Arachnia. Oh, man. I do have the Masterpiece version, but... Yeah, I want to get all of these as well. Love Beast Wars. Let's see... What are these? Battle World Mystery of the Thanos Stones. <laughs> Ultron? I think it is. Yeah, it is. The only character? Looks like it. It's from Funko. Making all kinds of stuff. Of course, they don't have any Joes. Oh, they have Squirrel Girl. And... I was hoping she'd be on clearance. I'll scan her. Maybe they haven't put a tag on her yet. I really want to find Megatron and Cheetor. And I don't think Dinobot's out yet. That's what the Marvel Legends. I know some people are finding the new. Was it Stilt Man Wave? I don't know that character, so. So a whole bunch of these two packs. All right, I think that does it. Got some Pokemon cards. Yeah, let's get out of here. All right, we are actually seeing the Merciless Wave once again, but <clears throat> only Infected Superman. We got some Azrael's. Oh, snaps, they got a whole bunch of, oh yes, Megatron. Yes, Megatron, terrorize! Die! Oh, we got Optimus Prime too. Oops. Let's see how this one looks. Thinking about getting this one. Uh, maybe not. Definitely gonna get Megatron. Oh, baby. I think it's 50 bucks, though. I mean, it's not. it doesn't look as good as the Masterpiece one, which I have, but... Still an excellent looking figure. Especially for $50. Oh, yes! Who else do we have? Okay, so we picked up Black Arachnia at the other place. We're going to pick up Cheetor as well. Yes! Yes! Oh, he's $20, okay. This black arachnia, another black arachnia. Warpath, did we see him? May get this one later on, though. I hope the season's pretty good. This uh, Kingdom War for Cybertron. And I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know if they're going to... The Beast Wars characters are going to be... Meeting the... You know, like Optimus Prime and all the other Transformers or whatnot. But I hope they do. That'd be awesome. Man, that is sweet. Oh yeah, okay. They got this Batman too from the Merciless Wave. Oh, I wish they had some Robin Crows. Alright, we'll pick up these two. Oh, they got Rat Trap. 
Oh, yeah, you, uh, you took care of that real good, kiddo. <laughs> Back off, rat face! Or I'll have a little vermin on a stick for lunch! <laughs> I wish they came with a six inch version like these. Instead of these three and three quarter. It's probably gonna come out in the future, yeah. So I think I'm gonna pass on this one. Oh, it's, temp it's tempting. I do need a rat trap, but man, I'd rather have it in that scale. <clears throat> Although this does look pretty good. Oh man, that's a beautiful sight. Yeah, they are stacks. I guess these these may not be hard to find. All right, I'll think about rat trap. It is seven ninety nine. All right, let's see what else they have over here. Storm and Thunderbird, a whole bunch of them. Jeez. I don't understand why they... You know, it's an exclusive, but why can't they make, like, the G.I. Joe exclusives just as abundant? You know what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Because if they, if they, you know, stocked each store with, like, 50 G.I. Joe's exclusives, then they would sell out on the first day, most likely. I don't understand, but, oh, well, I guess it is what it is. Oh, what? <laughs> a Baxter 2 pack. <laughs> That's pretty random. <laughs> Alright, well, yeah, let's pick some of these up and let's get out of here. Here's a necklace section. They do have a couple of Alpha Predators. And a whole bunch of Splinter and Baxter 2 packs. So maybe that's why they're, oh, there are one over there. In the other aisle. I really want this one, but I already have the other version, so I just don't want to spend another thirty dollars for the same character. Don't y'all hate when that happens, man? They come out with a better version of something. It happens all the time, doesn't it? Uh, Wolverine, very exclusive. Professor X, Boma. Man, Boma looks goofy. Everybody freeze. Was it everybody chill? Be one seems like fig pins are getting more and more popular these days. Some of them look really attractive to me, but I don't think I'm gonna go down, go down that line. Oh, we got Biff, so yeah, I decided not to pick up this line. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed my first official hunts of 2021. Um, we found some good stuff out there. Um, of course, I'm still looking for a couple things. Uh, definitely want that Beast Wars Optimus Primal figure. I'm just, man, I'm so happy they came out with this line. It's just wonderful. I mean, I'm, I'm already collecting the Masterpiece line for the Beast Wars figures, but this is wonderful as well you know they're i think about a bit smaller in scale i'll have to actually measure them up later but anyways so i got a a haul of variety of things um got a marvel legends figure that i got from best buy uh, a couple other things from online so let's go ahead and get to it all right from bestbuy.com i got j jonah jameson and i was actually hoping this card would be beat up so i just open it and i wouldn't be tempted to keep it um mint on card but it is nice and minty so i may keep it on card 
uh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really trying to buy less Marvel Legends this year. You know, I'm not going to be buying full waves anymore. Because um, there's so much in my collection that I just don't need anymore. Uh, so I'm probably going to sell them off uh, sometime in the near future, possibly. Um, but, yeah, for now, I'll just be very selective. And I definitely needed a, a Jameson figure. Uh, he's definitely an important figure in the Spider-Man world. And um, he looks good. I really like it. I wish he came with a couple more head sculpts, but, I mean, this is fine. This, def this expression definitely fits him for sure. And it's, it's got a couple of hands there. One that ha has a pointing finger. And it's got some a newspaper in there, which is nice, and a rolled up one as well from the Daily Bugle. So definitely nice art on the package for sure. Really like it. All right. All right, from Hasbro.com, we got... The Cobra Commander. This is the Regal variant. As you can see, it has like the gold chains on there and the gold belt. A couple gold weapons. Very, very clean looking figure. I'm really digging it. Um, I do have the other Hasbro Pulse exclusive Cobra Commander that's going to be coming later. And that looks much better. Of course, it has the, I think, a cloth cape, right? And it's got the fancy packaging and all, but... I think I may just take this one out and I'll keep the other one in the box. But yeah, this packaging, I mean all the packaging art on these G.I. Joe figures are awesome. I really like it. They definitely put a lot more effort on these than like Marvel Legends and other lines. Very cool. Okay, so as y'all saw from the hunt, we did not find any of the new Joes out in the wild. Um, so I went to several targets, uh, maybe like 30 or 40 minutes after they opened, and um, they were just sold out. Uh, they said there were at least 10 or more people waiting in line, and um, they just sold out with the quickness. So it is what it is, but lesson learned. Um, I went late because I figured they might not have it ready when they opened and I'll have a better chance if they if I came in later and they might uh, search the back and possibly grab it or something like that but um, anyways um, I did maybe like a couple days later I did manage to check pot finder and firefly showed up at a particular uh, target location and I called and I was able to pick up the last firefly so I'm really happy about that this is an awesome looking figure Got some awesome accessories. I believe that's like a drone. And yeah, he's just got a very unique look. The paint job is well done. Of course, the packaging art is very nice. So now I'm still on the hunt for the Vipers. And those are going to be tough to get. I mean, those are army builders. And I want at least four, but man... <laughs> It's going to be a struggle, but we shall see. All right. All right, moving on to the figures that we did find in the wild. Here's Kill, or is it Quill? I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, but I think they did a fantastic job with this figure. I mean, the face sculpt looks spot on. Looks really nice. Uh, so I still need to get Moff Gideon and Grief Karga. And yeah, I would I would have loved to pick up that grief cargo that we found, but yeah, it had like a smudge on his face, so can't be buying that. All right, all right, now to my favorite pickups of this week. So I was not going to get this figure. Well, I was kind of on the fence, but I had to get Rat Trap. This was I think six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. There's his beast form right there, and bot form right there. Very awesome. And then we have Black Arachnia. The packaging art on all of these looks so freaking good. They did a fantastic job. 
I can't wait for the show. For season 2. For the war for Cybertron. And then we have Cheetor. Looks good. Again, the packaging art looks nice. Very good. I wonder if it's going to look like, if his beast form is going to look like this in the show. Because, I mean, this show came out in the 90s, and yeah, it looked way different than what is shown on the art. Oh, man, I can't wait. So, yeah, there's Optimus Prime, Optimus Primal, Tigertron, Bumblebee. So, I think they're all going to be meeting each other somehow. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't believe Beast Wars is coming back. That is marvelous. All right, last but not least, we got Megatron. Oh, man. Look at that art. <laughs> Amazing. And I think this was 50 bucks. And the packaging, yeah, it's kind of beat up, but I wanted to get the one with the best paint app. So I'm definitely going to be taking these out. There's the side art. There's the back. There's the beast form right there. Man, these look really good for fifty dollars. I mean, the masterpieces, man. Like the Megatron is like, I think like oh, I, f I forgot like three hundred three hundred fifty dollars. Pretty expensive, but it's definitely of high quality. You know, what? let's bust this guy open and let's at least compare him with the masterpiece and see how they compare. All right, here are both of the Megatron Beast Wars figures, and obviously they're both of different scales. We've got a fifty-dollar figure here, and this one here is about like four hundred dollars, so huge difference in price points as well. Um, but I've got to say, this is a solid figure. I mean, I was uh, messing with the joints, and they feel just well made. The engineering behind it is fantastic. Um, this one as well for sure so man they put a lot they had to have put a lot of time in making these figures I mean most transformer figures they probably take a long time to make but man I mean they both look fantastic uh, they do have a big difference in some of the color schemes like up here on this um, deluxe version they have the like a yellow tone on the shoulders and this one doesn't it has like a little green stripe there with the purple and the tail is of a different color as well and it's got a different shape i mean as you can see this was like a almost like a perfect cone shaped tail while this one is a bit um curved and has a different color obviously um toenails of different is of different colors as well and I don't know. I got to say, I, I really dig both of them. Uh, there's a huge difference in a lot of the details on both of them, but they both are solid, solid looking figures. And this one actually weighs almost just as much as this one. Like this deluxe figure may actually be more durable than the masterpiece. Like if you drop these from 20 feet high, I think the masterpiece would end up with a lot more broken pieces, like a lot more. But I've got to say, um, they're both fantastic looking figures. The engineering behind them is just remarkable. Um, well, I didn't transform this one yet, but I mean, you've seen the pictures on how it can become the, and how it become a, how it can become a T Rex, and it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, if you ask me if I recommend this figure, I highly do. If you're a Beast Wars fan, or if you just like the aesthetics. Um, I mean, the Season 2 of War for Cybertron is coming out, and this character is going to be in it. And, man, I can't wait. Really looking forward to it. But yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, of course, share anything you picked up. Um, also tell me what you're excited for. What are you hunting down? Um, hope you all are having a great start to the year and uh, the next hunt Hopefully, I will find the Optimus Primal figure and some Cobra Vipers. Uh, we shall see But anyways, um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it a whole leap. Please like comment subscribe 
and I'll catch y'all next time. Alright, Ranger out. Peace. Oh yeah, so I forgot to mention, each of these figures comes with a trading card, except Rat Trap. So I ended up with two Optimus Primes, and as you can see, they are Lenticular, and an Autobot Arc. So yeah, that's really cool. The quality is very nice, much better than the McFarlane cards that come with those figures. And hopefully I can get some other ones. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed.